Alrighty, what is up guys? So, it's been a while. Um, I'm out here recording a video about the Ruger Wrangler, but I wanted to bring this out. I know it's been a while since I have updated about the Glock 44 um, and the Nelson Precision 44X slide. So, I wanted to come out and, you know, just shoot a few rounds through it, um, show you guys how it's doing. I still have the 13 pound recoil spring in here. Um, have not changed that. Um, it's actually, the gun itself is actually pretty dirty at the moment, but I think we will be all right. Trying to uh, send some rounds through it. Give you guys a little update. And so we had issues running bulk ammo through this. Um, it wasn't consistent. We would have malfunctions every once in a while. So I picked up a box of this uh, Agula. This is, uh, I guess it's their high velocity, but it's 40 grains. And that's what I was looking for, 40 grain. And it's over 1,200 feet per second. I think that was the sweet spot that I found last time I was doing this. So we'll take this. Uh, I just got a few random mags and we will load it up. Alrighty, just like that. Um, I did load up the Pro Mag, even though it's kind of a piece of shit. Um, so we'll use this mag first, because all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn this camera around and we're gonna see the reliability running through this, uh, this box of ammo. And I'll use the Pro Mag first, just because I have had issues with it in the past. this follower it'll get stuck in the mag body itself and then obviously it's not going to feed that way and then your rounds get all wonky in here but we will see what happens with this uh the other three these are all just oem glock mags so they are good to go um yeah let's just spin the camera around and do some shooting right, here we go pro mag going in let's see what happens Alrighty, so as we've seen just now, uh, we already have a malfunction. You can see that, see how that round came up at the top? This mag's already, it's already doing its shit. So we're going to drop this right now. We're just going to switch over, blast the 30 rounds through uh, the other three OEM mags. Because I had a feeling that was going to happen, but I had to try. So. Alright, OEM mag. to feed. Weird. Alrighty guys, back over on the tailgate. Um, like we just seen, we did have that one random uh, failure to feed. It happens, uh, it is what it is. But you can see, for the most part, if you're using the OEM Glock mag and a decent ammo, I mean, this stuff isn't like expensive at all. It's, uh, I think it still comes out to six cents a round, which is what like this Federal is. Um, you probably find it cheaper. Um, I'm just going off of Brownells because, like I should have said in the beginning, I've got to thank the biggest supporter of the channel. It's Brownells. Uh, they have tons of stuff. Like, I just picked up this Ruger Wrangler the other day. Um, well, actually, uh, Hollow Sun is from them. Mod Light. I don't know if the Mod Light body's from them, but I got this OKW Light from them. And uh, yeah, they have OEM Glock mags for the uh, G44 there. So... 
but yeah, check them out. Link is always down below. If you use that link, it helps the channel. So, uh, Nelson Precision Slide, though, I mean, it still works. It works fine. Uh, this is the Glock 44. It's not meant to be a, like, defensive weapon by any means. So, for what we're doing out here on the range, plinking with it, and you guys got to remember it's a 22. This isn't, like... If a Glock 17 was having issues like this, then we would have issues. Um, but this is still a plinking slash like Glock 19 training gun. I know some people use it for that. Um, but even if you are using it for that, <laughs> I mean, honestly, a malfunction here and there wouldn't kill you to work on. So it'd be uh, good for that. But... Other than that, guys, um, yeah, check out Nelson Precision. Uh, I think he's still doing pre-orders on these slides, so go check him out. Does use your OEM stuff. You can get night sights or uh, suppressor height sights with it. This is the 407 cut, so pretty inexpensive Hollow Sun 407. This is the green one. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Maybe can you? Hey, look at that green dot. So, yeah, um, this does have the bare adjustable guide rod set up so you can swap springs, which I think is kind of mandatory to run something like this. So, other than that, guys, just want to give you a little quick update. Maybe uh, if you haven't seen these, let you see what they do. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, big thing is just get out and shoot. Get out and do your thing. Have fun. And that's it. So thanks for watching. Hit like, subscribe, and I love you.